Hello everyone, thank you for joining the Learn It YouTube channel. My name is Kara Clifford and today we're going to be talking about some enhancements to Word in the area of proofing your documents. So we'll give you some tips to make proofing more productive as well as making sure that the information in your document is just the way you want it to be. So again, thank you for joining and please subscribe to our channel for more videos like this on all of the different applications every user uses. So I'm going to go ahead and move over to our Word document here. We'll be using Microsoft Word 2016 through the Office 365 subscription. Now, a couple of the features that I'm going to be talking about today uh, may not be available to you as they are part of a new update. And some organizations control updates so you don't get them right away. So the company can test or make sure that things are working properly before they push those out. So I'm going to go ahead and move over to Word 2016 and we'll be using our Office 365 subscription through this Word uh, application. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look. Here I have a, a basic document that I've created with just some random text that has been generated. And I wanna show you a few different things that we can do to make life easier when working within documents, specifically editing and proofing. One thing that I'm regularly doing is I'm putting in information such as my company name, and one of the things that happens when I put in my company name is that I get a misspelling. So for one, that learn it is coming up as a misspelled word. Also, that's not a necessarily an easy word for me to type. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you a way to have the autocorrect fix that for me, making it easier for me to put in my company name. I was at a client yesterday and I showed them this and they just got so excited because their company name was extremely long and difficult to type and spell. And so with just a couple characters, they could replace that with the full company name. So that's what we're gonna do right now with our different tools that we have in the options. So from the file, from the file menu, I'm going to go to the file tab of the ribbon here and I'm going to go into the options. In the options, I have all of our proofing options, including the autocorrect dictionary. I'm going to select that, and it's going to bring me to a section where I have all of the different autocorrect options. You can see I have the autocorrect tab selected up at the top. Here I have all of the different ways autocorrect is currently correcting information. If I put two initial capital letters, it's going to correct that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use the replace text as you type. And if you start to scroll down, you can see that there's quite a few. If I put in a smiley face or a frowny face, it's going to replace those with the little emoji. If I put in certain arrows, it's going to use that autocorrect. And then we move into some common words that people misspell. So again, these are the default settings of our autocorrect options. But what we're going to do here is we're going to do a replace. For example, if I put in a capital L and an exclamation point, I want to replace that with the name Learn It using the lowercase i, the capital T, and the exclamation point. Now, once I've put in the text that I want to type and what I want to replace it with, I simply choose Add and now that becomes one of the replace with text items. I'm going to go ahead and choose OK, and then OK again, and I'm going to come back here and delete out that text, replacing it with simply a capital L and an exclamation point. And you can see that immediately I get that correction. Now, just because I have it auto-correcting with that text doesn't mean that it sees that as a proofed word. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and move back to my file menu into the options and from the proofing section of my options, I'm going to go ahead into my custom dictionaries. Now here you can see these are dictionaries that we have and we have all of the word lists associated with it. And I'm going to go ahead and add a word like learn it and add it to this particular dictionary. When I say OK, OK again, and one last OK, I'll go ahead and run my spell check by going to the Review tab. I can tell it again, it's got that word in there. If I choose to add it, 
it adds it. And now, no matter when I add learn it, that word will be shown as a correct spelling. Now, I'm going to go ahead and show you another way I like to make sure that my document is proofed. I created this document earlier, and you can see that it's got some personal information in here. Who created it, when it was created. And one of the things I may want to do is inspect the document. I can check for issues by using the inspect document. This will look for hidden properties and personal information. So if this was a document that I wanted to send out to clients or colleagues, and I wanted to take any of my personal information out of it, I can use this inspect document. Now, it wants me to make sure that I have saved my changes, so I'm gonna say yes, so my changes are saved. And then as I come to my document inspector, I can see that I have all of my different comments and revisions, properties, and if I scroll down, I can see that most of my document properties are going to be inspected. So I choose inspect, it runs through, and then it tells me the reviewer information. So of the information that it was looking for, what did it find? Now you'll see that I didn't have any comments or revisions, I didn't have any embedded documents, but I do have some document properties and personal information. And what I'm gonna simply do is choose remove all. Then I'll reinspect the document, and verify that nothing else is hidden within my document and I can close out. So this is something again that I recommend if you're creating reports for clients, if you wanna make sure that there's uh, not any hidden information in there that might cause your users issues, I highly recommend using that check for issues inspect document found backstage in the file menu. Now, the final thing I wanna to mention to you is the new feature that's being released right now, the Word 2016 editor. Now, not all versions of Word using Word 2016 have this. Some companies uh, have delayed updates. They may not have pushed those out, but you will maybe see in the next, I'd say, few months before the end of the year, a new tool called Editor. When spell checking, using the spell check from the Review tab, it will now open up a panel on the right-hand side. You can see here an image of what that editor will look like. The editor is going to check for complex words, cliches, jargon, and anything that may not be appropriate for your document. For example, you can see in the image that the editor found the word effect, and it suggested that we use the word effect. So it notices that there is a possible word choice error. You might have chosen the wrong word and that it's making the suggestion. What's great about the editor is that it includes a definition of the word. It includes these different synonyms. It gives you the ability to listen to the word. So if you wanna hear what that word sounds like, and then you can either ignore it or you can accept that suggestion. So Microsoft Word is getting better at better at helping us create professional and polished documents through tools like Editor, through the autocorrect options, and our Inspect document. I highly recommend you using the tools to make sure that all of the content that you're creating in Microsoft Word 2016 is as high quality as possible. Now, stay tuned for more information on Word Editor as well as the Outlook Editor that's being released as well. So those of you that would love this tool for your emails, it's coming soon. Subscribe to our channel for additional resources and information. And thank you so much for joining our training today. I look forward to seeing you guys next week when we deliver our next YouTube Live.